news on the go. A time just about 7.54 in Syracuse. Here are today's top stories in your news on the go this morning. With auto thefts on the rise in Syracuse, police are launching a new initiative to try and turn the numbers around. Officers saying a lot of the time people are making it too easy for thieves, leaving their keys in the car. Tempting a criminal to hop in and take off. Well, as a result, police will now be letting owners off with a warning the first time. But if your car is stolen again due to carelessness, you could face a $150 ticket. Well, in Cortland County, we're still waiting to learn more about a bad crash on Route 281 in Preble last night. Dispatchers in Cortland County telling us two cars collided just before 9 o'clock near the McBride Trailer Park. At least three people had to be taken to the hospital, but the extent of their injuries is unknown this morning. We have reached out for more information from the Cortland County Sheriff's Office. All well, students were back in class this week. But today, the Marcellus School District will officially be holding a grand opening for its newly renovated high school. Years of planning and construction leading up to today's ribbon cutting. That's happening at 3 o'clock. The $18 million renovation, take a look, required gutting the interior, upgrading furniture, and rearranging several of the classroom wings. Well, today, Orange Nation is prepping for kickoff. The game two of the SU football season getting underway at noon today. On the road for the second straight week, the team will be facing off against a tough top 10 or Big Ten opponent in Maryland. The Terrapins are favored to win by just one and a half points. However, you can catch the game on ESPN. That's channel 24 on Spectrum, 70 on Verizon, 206 on DirecTV, and 140 on Dish. And you might want to grab